Picking up from the last video, we will be utilizing Cobb's Access Port Manager software to transfer maps and data logs to and from the Access Port. You will need the following items. Your Cobb Access Port, a micro USB cable, and a computer. In this case, we are using Windows 10, but the same steps can also be followed for Mac OS. I've already hooked the Access Port up to the computer, and we just need to connect it via the software. After we connect it, we will see that we are on the Maps page. Um, this, this triangle all indicates a firmware update. Always make sure that your, your access port is firmware updated before doing anything. Um, now we want to transfer our map from the intro email that we were sent by our tuner. Um, to download this, you can do it one of many ways. Um, in my case, I'm just going to drag and drop to my desktop. Um, depending on which email provider you have, whether you're using a web-based interface or a um, third-party email application like I am, um, it will vary. Now, what you want to do to transfer this is you can do one of two ways. You can drag and drop, and it will ask you um, if you would like to transfer it. Or you can hit this search for map button and navigate to where it is. In this case, I have it saved to my desktop. And you can see there's that same map. If you just drag it over from right to left, um, it will transfer over. Um, now you have your base map transferred over and you can eject your access port and go to your car. This is also where you wanna follow the data logging parameters uh, instructions located in your base map. Well, located in your, in in your email. Um, this, basically changes your monitors and what the access port is actually going to log. It'll change the data that, that we see. The default list is very different from, from this list. Um, after you're done and you go out and you follow your instructions and you take your base logs um, on your base map, you want to come back and send them to us. To do this, the process is very similar. Connect your access port up. And over here, you'll see we have a filter dropdown. Um, you want to select the data logs filter. And here you'll see we have a lot of data logs. Well, say we only went out and we did two logs, um, but we have, you know, 12 from, you know, a previous owner or just accidental, accidental activations. Um, you'll see they're numbered. The higher the number, uh, so in this case, 10 and 11 are our highest numbers. Um, the higher the number, the more recent the data log. So in our case, we want to transfer 10 and 11 to our computer. Uh, in this case, it's just a drag and drop. Um, these files are .csv files. Sometimes you'll see .log uh, files in here. Do not transfer those. Um, the .csv files you can actually open with Excel as well um, if you would like to, to view um, some data on your car. Um, now, to email these back, for me, let's hit reply and attach them back to your tuner. Um, also in your tuner signature, um, you will see their hours of operation and their turnaround times. Um, E-tune turnaround times are typically one to three business days. Uh, so keep that in mind when asking for status updates. And that should do it. Um, if you guys have any more questions, you can contact your tuner directly, uh, but that's it. Thank you.